let's do some word problems with trigonometry. Now, this is going to come right back to you because you did this in geometry. Um, so finally, you're like, wow, we get to do regular Sokotoa stuff again. So you got a ladder that's leaning against the house making a 60 degree angle with the ground. All right, so basically, you get to draw your own pictures. So the nice thing about that is you can have a little bit of fun with it if you'd like. The bad thing is if you draw your picture wrong, well, obviously, you're going to get the problem wrong even if your trig is correct. So first thing we got to do is we got to make a little house. You don't have to. You can make boring pictures if you'd like to. And then we've got to make our ladder. So here's a ladder that's resting against the house. And of course, I'm sure you can figure out that here's your ground. And then it says that the ladder is making a 60 degree angle with the ground. So you got to make sure the 60 goes down there. Okay? And it is seven feet from the base of the house. How long is the ladder? Now, if you want, you can just make a plain old 7. 60 X right here. You don't need to draw the house, but you know, if you want to have a little bit of fun, go right ahead and have some fun. Do you need trig for this? Absolutely not. X is equal to 14, and of course, we're going to label it with feet. Um, how did I know that? Well, because it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. We know that this is a short side, and that's two times the short side, so it's 14. But if you want to use trig, you go right ahead. Um, that's your time. Number two, an airplane rises vertically. Um, 1,000 feet over a horizontal distance of one mile, okay? This is pretty easy as well. So we got an airplane path, and we'll just make our little airplane go like that. And of course, you've got to draw an airplane. I mean, how can this be a fun little word problem if we don't actually draw an airplane? Um, and it said that it rose vertically 1,000 feet over a horizontal distance of one mile. Well, do you think you can write one mile and then I have a thousand feet? I don't think so. So we're going to do 5,280 feet because that's how many feet there are in a mile. And then it says, what is the angle of elevation? All right, so recap on angle of elevation. Angle of elevation is always the angle made by looking up or down based on your original line of sight, which is horizontally. Okay, so your angle of elevation is right there. So this time you are going to need to use a little bit of trig. So we have opposite and adjacent. So this is going to be the tangent of x. And that's equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. And then all you have to do is use your graphing calculator. And for these, we're going to, uh, it says, round all angles to the nearest minute. So make sure you are in degrees. Second tan of 1,000 divided by 500 or 5,280 is going to give you that the angle is 10 degrees and 43 minutes. Okay, so again, remember, angle of elevation and also once we get to angle of depression is always based on the original line of sight, a.k.a. the horizontal line. Okay, number three. A ranger is at the top of an outlook tower that is 200 feet above a flat plane. She spots a fire at three degree angle of depression from the top of the tower. What is the straight line distance from her to the fire? So this is going to be the diagonal distance. Um, how far is the fire from the base of the tower? So you actually have to find two different um, lengths here. So I'm going to tell you to pause and sketch your own. Find the calculations, and we'll see if you're right. So give it a try on your own. See if you can do it. All right, so number three. You should have found the distance from the ranger to the fire as 3,821.5 feet, and the fire from the base of the tower is 3,816.2 feet. Now, hopefully you had a little bit of fun with this drawing, and hopefully you put the three degrees where it belongs. Remember, angle of elevation and angle of depression are always based on the horizontal. So she was originally looking horizontally, and then she looked down to see the fire. So that angle is actually outside of the triangle that I have drawn here. Now, of course, you could have drawn your triangle upside down to begin with. It really doesn't matter which way you draw your triangle. Um, but if you like keeping your triangle on the ground, just remember old school angle or uh, alternate interior angles will bring this angle to three degrees anyway. Okay? 
So that's the two angles you should have. Um, so there's another two word problems here that are going to require multiple steps again. Um, so number four, uh, you're at a balcony of Wisconsin Dells and you've got the tallest slide is only 124 feet from the balcony. Uh, he looks up and down to find the top and bottom of this slide and basically he wants to know how tall the slide is. So you're going to need to draw two triangles in that one. And in number five, you're going to have to do the exact same thing. You're going to have to draw two triangles, but um, you're going to have to find how, fa how far this balloon has risen vertically over a five-second period. So both of these are multi-stepped. Um, if you have accurate drawings and accurate trig, it should not be that difficult. So have fun. Give both of those a try. When you're ready, click play, and we'll see if you get them right. So let's see if you got it right. Uh, the water slide problem, you had to find the angle of elevation and the angle of depression to find out how, how, how high the slide is. So you've got the top part, which is 63.2 feet. You've got the bottom part, which is 74.5 feet. So basically all you have to do is take both of those um, and you just add them together to find the total height of the water slide. Now in number five, you had to take the total height by finding uh, the tangent of 51, and that'll give you the height of 160.5, but then you have to remember it was originally at 28 degrees, so you have to go back and find that, which is 69.1, but you subtract this time because we know the total height right now is 160.5. We just want to know how much further did it rise um, from this location to that location over a five second period and it was 91.4 feet. All right, that's just old school Sokotoa stuff. This is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.